Now, in this particular question, let us read the requirement first. If the sales value at split off method is used to allocate joint cost to the final products, the per gallon cost of producing big is okay. Per gallon cost, it uh, it is asking. It's not asking the total cost. Fine. The company processes duo into two joint products, big and mini. Duo is purchased in one thousand gallon drums for two thousand dollars. Processing costs are three thousand to process one thousand gallons of duo into eight hundred gallons of big and two hundred gallons of mini. The selling price is nine per gallon and four per gallon for mini. Now we are going to do split off at selling at uh, you know at split off we are going to apportion it. Now if we are going to apportion it at uh, split off let us just take this. How many? 800 gallons we have and 200 gallons we have. 800, 200. Selling price is 9 per gallon and here it is 4 per gallon. So the total it becomes 800 into 9 is equals to 7200 and 200 into 4 is 800. Now, if I have to apportion this, how does it equal to? The total of these two is nothing but 8000. 7200 divided by 8000 is equals to 90%. So, this will become automatically 10%. Okay. Now, what is my joint cost? Joint cost is 2000 and 3000, which equals $5,000. 90% is for big. So, I'll just do into 90%, which equals 4500. Now, 4500 is a total cost, but he is asking us per gallon cost. Now, how many gallons do we have for big? We have 800 gallons. So 4,500 divided by 800. And that equals to 4,500 divided by 800. 5.625. 5.625. Is that an option? Yes. Option A. To the nearest amount. I hope you are getting this particular question clearly. Not that clumsy or not that tricky also. I hope everyone is getting this. Yes. Okay. Is this question completely clear? Shall we move forward? Yes, sir. I want to know the split off method. What is split off method? Split off point is just that at the time of sell, okay, or at the time of you are splitting it, okay, at the time of this 1000 gallon okay 1000 gallon is becoming 800 gallon and 200 gallon now if you say that the apportion is going to be based on the split off then you are going to take this 800 as 80 percent and this is going to be 20 percent now this is apportionment at split off point and now a step further you are going to apportion the joint cost based on sales at split off point so we did 800 into 9 200 into 4, we got the sales value as 7200 and 800. Now, based on the 7200 and 800, we are going to apportion this 5000 of our joint cost. Is that clear? Now, let's move forward towards another question related to it. Now, let us read the requirement first. If Tempo uses a net realizable value method of allocating joint cost, how much of the joint cost will be allocated to each unit of product C? To each unit of product C. Now, there are three products sold after further processing as there is no market for any other products at the split off point. So, he is saying, after the split off point, there is further production also. Joint cost per batch are 315,000. So the joint cost is 315,000. 
Now, the split off point is like this 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. This is split off point. But here comes further production cost. Further production cost per unit is 0 0.7 per unit for product A, $3 per unit for product B, and 1.72 for product C. Now, when we have all these uh, costs, what we can do is just find out what all are the further costs respective to them and also their final sales value because we need to find it on the net realizable value. So let me just do this first for product A. 20,000 into 5 minus 0 0.7, which makes it 4.3. Then 30,000 multiplied by 6 minus 3, which is again 3. And then 50,000 multiplied by 7 minus 1.72. What is 7 minus 7? Five point two eight. Okay. Now we have our net realizable values up here. Can you just share that uh, with me also? 20,000 into 4.3. 86,000. 30,000 into 3. 90, 90, 50,000 into 5.2. 2,64,000. How much? 2,64,000. 2,64,000. Now, these are the net realizable values. Based on these, okay, based on these, we should allocate this particular joint cost, which is 315,000. Okay. Now, we want to find out for product C only. So, first of all, what is the total of these three? Two sixty four thousand plus ninety thousand plus eighty six thousand is equals to four lakh forty thousand. Now I have to find out it for product C. The so product C, what I'll do? Two sixty four divided by four hundred forty thousand is equals to how much? Two sixty four thousand divided by four hundred forty thousand is equals to 0 0.6. Now, what is the cost here? 315,000. 315,000 into 0 0.6. 315,000 into 0.6, which equals 189,000. Now, this 189,000 is the total cost, but he is asking, each unit, how many units are there in C? 50,000 units are there in C. Now, what I'll do? 189,000 divided by 50,000. How much is it? 3.78. This is our answer. Now, let me just clarify it after stopping this recording. I hope if you guys have any questions, you can put it down there below.